Uh, the usual Gilbert and Sullivan. Yes, yes please, if you Super. don't mind. Okay. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you. I'm a teacher by profession, it was always my ambition to enable lots of little minds to shine. I don't aim for great advancement, for I'm not a politician, and if I'm not rich, that's absolutely fine. My school is what you might call archetypal in a city, only 10% speak English at the start. But after Ofsted's visit, and it said without self-pity, the common room collectively lost heart is it really so misguided to think learning should be fun oh a teacher's lot is not a happy one happy one <laughs> Now the minister makes changes every week and each suggestion's either lunatic, insane or barking mad. But what is crystal clear is that he asks himself no questions and gives rein to every bright idea and fad. We must read the King James Bible while the children chomp on lettuce and if Primark found a school it's not a stunt. He has never been receptive to our feedback when he's met us. In my opinion. Eek. He's an utter Jeremy Hunt. Oh, believe me, it's an argument that's bound to run and run. Oh, a teacher's lot is not a happy one. Happy one. It's my noble aim to din some English into all my pupils. Eighteen languages are spoken in my class. But when Ofsted say they're coming, then our workload just quadruples. Cause we're in the donkey do if we don't pass. The inspector sits and watches, which just makes you feel defenseless. Twenty minutes of his time is all you've got. Has he any bloody notion that it's absolutely sensible? teaching Uzbek kids the Lady of Shalot. No, he never sees the tiny little battles that are won. No, a teacher's lot is not a happy one. Happy one. The inspector gives his verdict, says we cannot teach for toffee, and our classes simply do not make the grade. What's so utterly enraging is we gave him cake and coffee, and what's more, both were organic and fair trade. Yet in 20 sodding minutes, he's convinced the little treasures you're incompetent to help them read and write. And to top it all, the school is designated special measures, which in English means they think the place is shite. <laughs> Next year I'll pull a sickie and then jet off to the sun. Oh, a teacher's lot is not a happy one. Happy one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there is one final question that I would like to ask you, and it is possibly the most important question of all. Uh, I wonder if anybody here can tell me what the word Ofsted actually stands for. <laughs> Anyone? No? Oh, my God. I can help. It stands for overpaid fuckers shafting teachers every day. And finally the minister has plans that set us weeping longer hours and shorter holidays as well. Are we meant to prep our classes and do marking while we're sleeping? If that's so, then the response is go to hell! He's disapplied PE plus art and music in the shakedown. This obsession with core subjects is a farce. It's no wonder that so many of us have a nervous breakdown. Take your syllabus and shove it up your ass. I would shoot you but the nurses at the Priory took my gun. Oh, a teacher's lot is not a happy one.